Welcome back, everybody. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here for all this action. The challenge has been laid. Time to find out who's ready to bring it in this one. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away now from puck drop. Puck is dropped. Let's do this hockey. Couldn't complete the play. There's the whistle icing the call. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still no score in this one. The Spartans win it in the defensive zone. Once you ice the puck, you got a few fatigued guys on the ice. This draw is important. Rips a howitzer from the point! Answered the call there. From the neutral zone now. Detroit's got the puck in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Green. Sends a pass over. Josh is moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Can't connect. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Juice caught red-handed. Tripping is the call. Funny, coaches always tell you, get your stick on the puck. And then when you try and the guy trips up, they tell you, get your stick out of there. Kind of stuck. Trying to clear from the defensive zone. And it's taken by a teammate and stays in. And it's a small victory for the PK unit here. Well, that's their job. Get it down the ice, get off the ice, get some new people out there. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. From the blue line, they take control of it. The Spartans get a hold of the puck along the boards. Off the left wing and into center. Takes the feed. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he's ridden off the puck. And the man advantage unit comes up empty-handed. We keep things deadlocked with both teams back at even strength. Sometimes you go on the ice with the best of intentions, and it goes all wrong right away. That's how I characterize that power play. B-Bunny's got the puck in his own zone. Puts it up front. Can't finish. Oh, Ray opportunity it really is i mean the play is sitting right there there's a scoring chance to be had they just don't execute it pokes the puck away and that pass goes awry now he takes it over the line here's a shot answers it with an even better save the spartans have it against the wall stopped by the goaltender well, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter, there's nowhere for the puck to go. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. We've still got zeros on the board. The Spartans win the faceoff. And that one flies over the net. Pokes it away in his own end. No one back, a 2-1-0. Like he almost deeped himself out. There was nowhere to go with it, and the goalie makes the save. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Detroit's looking to break out. Picks off the pass. Drills them. Detroit's got control of it now from their own end. The Hawks pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. He says, let's get physical on that play. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Detroit's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Massachusetts gains a hold of possession. Detroit's got the puck here in the open ice. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Feeds it down low. Here's
Here's a shot. That's off a stick. Massachusetts has the puck. A chance to get it out. And his teammate comes up with it. Oh, what a stop. Delayed penalty looming. B-Bunny is going to play it from the back of the cage. And the play is whistled dead. Let's get the call. Weeks is going off for interference. About halfway through this play, you can see him. Ah, I'm in the wrong spot. He should have let him go. He didn't, and he gets called. And he's going to pay for it now. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Quick pass to Mahomes. The Hawks take it across Whoa. the blue line. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. Makes the save. Into the corner now. Big hit. And that one's blocked. Sends one up to Kidd. Denies him on the play. O'Brien's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. Massachusetts takes possession along the wall. Stopped by the goaltender. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Detroit's man is out of the box and we're back to even strength. Always frustrating for the power play when they go back to the bench and don't have anything to show for it. Move to the middle, and that's picked off in front. Moves it quickly over to Riley. The Hawks get a hold of the puck, and he uses his reach to disrupt the play. There's the horn bringing period number one to an end. Still no score in this one. here on EA Sports. to drop the puck. Still no score in this one. We'll see if period number two finds ourselves a goal. One period already in the books. Ray, how have you seen this thing? Detroit's going to be hard-pressed to replicate that first period. I thought they had the puck the whole time, James. Yet they look up, and it's still scoreless. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. The Spartans have been served up with a two-minute penalty for charging. Yeah, he gets rung up for a hit that's a little bit over the line. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle, and this power play will come to an end as another man's off to the box. The good old-fashioned hook has sent him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box and gets called every time. Weeks will play it from the side. Here's a blast from the boards. Takes control of the puck. Here he is in front. Big time stop. Oh, and the goalie catches a break there. Bumped off the puck. Weeks has it near the back end. Here's a short Just pass. A and he scores. Detroit's taken a 1-0 lead on the heels of that goal. Energy, aggressiveness, and lots of shots. That adds up to a first goal of the game. Took a long time, but they've got it now. Rocks him on the play. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Goes right to the crease. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. It's an opportunity for a brief man advantage here as the penalty expires. Both teams are now back to even strength as the power play has expired. 
Lots of time left in this period. 1-0 the score. Weeks wins the draw. Quick feed to Green. Massachusetts gets the puck near the boards. Airmails it. Did he ever? He's got to bring that down a couple of feet. Riley's got the puck now in his own end. Takes the pass. From center, they get into the attacking area. The Hawks scoop it up along the boards. Detroit's got the puck in the corner. Massachusetts gains a hold of it. That pass doesn't go. Denies it in front. But he came. Hey, that means the play's supposed to end here. They're still pushing around pretty good. Hughes is looking for somebody to engage in a fight with. He can't find the right guy. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. We got a 1 0 game to this point. Detroit's got it in the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Passes on over to Kidd. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. And the play is whistled dead. Let's see what the call is coming up. Best impersonation for a raging bull base for that charging call. About halfway through that, the official's got his radar up. If he doesn't slow down, the call's going to be made. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Weeks plays it now. Behind the net, looking for the transition game. Gets it out of his own end. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Detroit's lead here in the second period. A direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. The Spartans win the draw. Headman pass. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And they do just that. I thought they did a pretty good job there, James. That's... A time you can get yourself running around in the zone. They didn't get there. Moves it to Kidd. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Green's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Kidd's called for tripping. He's off to the box. I always found this a frustrating penalty to take. There's really no aggression to it. You're trying to steal the puck, but you end up clipping the guy down. And now he angles it across to B. Bunny. Massachusetts moves ahead with the puck. The Spartans will have a chance to go to work here on the man advantage after the penalty expired. Gives them nothing in front. This is a quality chance if the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Centering pass. Made the stop on the play. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Green's dangerous and he's got the puck now. He had the go-ahead goal earlier on. Man, it can be deflating if your power play stinks. When your power play does score, everybody grabs a little bit of energy. Detroit's made it a 2-0 lead here in the second. I'm almost surprised it's not a wider margin, Ray. It really should be. It's like the other guy's playing with his controller upside down. <laughs> oh, they telegraphed the pass, and he picks it off. Let's it go from the blue line. Shuts him down. Through center along the wing. Fails to find the open man. Smart heads up. Play to intercept the pass. Detroit's got a hold of it along the wall. Passes it over to Blades. Cutting to the slot. Move to the middle. And that's picked off. Officials say play on. That's only because of the effort to get down the ice in front of the defenseman. Off target. Here's a chance right in front. And that's broken up. Trying to get it out. Gets it out of his own end. Moves the puck over to Josh. Dumps it in. Grabbed along the boards by Kidd. Right out front. Oh, and he missed the opportunity there. Hammers one. And there's the whistle. Yet another penalty set to be handed out here. Is that essentially a pick on that interference? It is a little late to the play, and the official's right on it. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Oh, here you go. Another chance to score in the power play. They've done that earlier in the game. Here's another opportunity. Keeps control of the puck after taking a little knock. Here's a chance. A two-on-one. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And they manage to clear it. Gains the zone through the middle. Puck picked up. Well, he's calling him out now. They're going to go. 
Yeah, he jumped in pretty quickly after his teammate got hurt. He wants to defend here. That's a clear decision there. Not much doubt who the winner is of this fight. Watch it and now listen. And the crowd back alive here inside the stadium. Detroit's been the better team tonight and they lead as a result late in the second. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. And now he moves it to Blades. Offside is the call and we'll have a face off just outside the offensive zone. Here in the late goings of the period, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. Keats won the draw here in the neutral zone. Handles the puck. Massachusetts looks to break out in their own end. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. The Spartans get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Oh, there goes another power play, James. Same script, same result. No goal for them on many power plays tonight. The setters will glide into the dot. Detroit's won the draw in the neutral zone. Grabs the puck at center. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Delayed penalty coming up here. There's the whistle preventing any sort of opportunity to set up with the extra attacker. The Spartans have been handed two for interference. The officials will let a little bit of interference go. Not that much. That's a pretty easy call. His reflex is on display tonight, and they'll get it out of the defensive end. The Hawks gain control of the puck against the wall. Steps inside, and he takes a shot. Puts it wide. Uh, the goalie doesn't even have to make an effort on that. It's that shot, even though it's close, misses the net. Calls it up at center. Horn sounds bringing the second period to an end. The Spartans will take a 2-0 lead into the room after 40 minutes of play. Are you ready? I'm ready. Ray's ready. The players are ready. Let's go. The Hawks win the draw as this period is underway, and their power play goes back to work. And a great save. O'Brien's been sharp when he's had to be. He's got a good save percentage here tonight, and his team's in good shape. And not much on that one. Down the right side and into the zone. Takes a shot, and he makes the save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Detroit's got a 2-0 lead. Massachusetts takes possession off the draw. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. Well, a good power play is about 20%, James. That one falls in the other 80%. They don't get it done. The power play expires. Detroit's got a hold of the puck. Dished on over to B-Bunny. With authority again! James, I'm almost feeling sorry. Oh, look at that face wash. Yeah, he's grinding them pretty good, James. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. The Hawks win possession here in the open ice. Quick pass to Kidd. Lowers the boom with that hit. Grabs the puck here at the blue line. And he totally whiffs on that one. And a strong effort on that play. Grabs control of it at the point. 
Massachusetts plays it up ahead. Fires one, just oh. wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. And it's a quick pass to Green. Scores! Three is the magic number. Man, that goalie is getting just torched down there. Three in a row here. I think he looks like he's landing an airplane there, James. He waves his glove at the puck. It still goes into the net. Detroit's added to their lead here in this third period. It's been non-stop. I like how they've scored and then gone after the next one, James. They've had their foot down on the gas pedal the whole night. Takes it into the slot. And he rings the post. The Hawks are grinding away. Even though they're way down, they're still generating chances. This one hits the post and is unlucky for them as it stays out. Winks off to the box, interference the call. That's one of those, instead of arguing, all you can do is go, ah, I'm in the wrong spot. And turn around and go sit down. I believe my mother called it a lumping. O'Brien's got the puck and he elects to hang on for a stoppage and play. Now we're in the third period, James. It's pretty safe to say he's been on top of his game tonight. Not much has given him a problem. B-Bunnies won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Right up the gut, here they go. Rocks them. Oh, what a oh. hit on the play. Get your head up or you run into that. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle stopping the play. Riley's going to serve a pair for interference. Sometimes you get caught in the wrong spot on the ice. He clearly interferes with the other player's progress. Wrong place, wrong time. You're right on that one, Ray. Juice explores his options behind the net. On the attack along the boards. Great read to break up the play. Here's a chance right in the slot. That's a solid check on the play. And the puck leaves the zone. Massachusetts has it near the wall. Across the line and on the attack. That goes wide. This is one of those nights. It's not going your way, but the puck keeps coming back to you in a scoring position. Weeks has it in the defensive end. Time's up on the power play. Both teams back to even strength. I liked everything about that power play, James, except the fact that they couldn't put it in the net. Everything about it looked really good. Gains the zone through center. Moves it quickly over to Kidd. He was right there, and they can't convert. Receives the pass. Here's a chance. And he comes up with it. O'Brien's under fire. He's going to hang on for the whistle. Sometimes you freeze it to give your teammates a breather. Sometimes you freeze it so you get yourself one. He's been really busy tonight, but he's been exceptionally sharp. Weeks has it in their own end. Scoops up the puck here. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Blades. With the stop. O'Brien's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. Past the midway mark of the frame, Detroit's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Juice. Near the point. There's the physical side. Big time stop. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. This shift continues as they roll around the offensive zone. Good reach to the stick to knock the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Juice. Quick feed to Josh. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Moves it to Mahomes. With possession along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. And he'll play the puck behind the net along the boards. And now it's over to B. Bunny. Not able to connect. Icing his call, stopping the play dead. Here in the later stages of this period, Detroit's on easy street right now. They lead it 3-0. Weeks has won the draw. They've got the puck now. He got a tired defensive group to play against. Tosses it to Riley. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. He was locked in there. 
Now, whatever you got to do, I guess, man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Massachusetts desperate for some offensive conversions here late in this third period. Bee Bunnies want it in their own end. The Spartans gain possession along the wall. And he gets a glove on it to keep it at bay. And the final seconds ticking away here in regulation. Denied by the goaltender. Here's a backhander. Denies him again. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. And that one's turned away. The Hawks have it against the wall. He clearly doesn't like that. Blades is trying to drop the mitts here. He just can't get anyone to fight him. Nice pass. Here's a chance. And that goes off the player in front. The Spartans get a hold of the puck along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Made the save on the play. Trying to shake the defender. Slides it across. He scores! Oh, that was gorgeous! The He's looking for a dance partner. Yeah, he looks like he wants somebody, anybody to, to engage with. Well, you felt this one coming for a while. Yeah, I thought they'd run out of time and not get a chance to drop the mitts. Here you go. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Too little, too late. You get in a fight, but your team has just gotten their lunch handed to them. This is where you almost wonder if there's run time available. I hope so. Both coaches seem to have settled down. And a challenge being thrown down here. Yeah, that came out of nowhere a little bit, and the challenge is down. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Riley's got it now deep inside his own end. Rips it and rips it, and that goes off course wide. Final horn is sounded, bringing this one to an end. Well, you always enjoyed a good challenge. What do you make of this one? Well, if you're going to lay it down, you better be able to back it up, and they did that. That's a solid game for them.